I don't know about you, but these flag stickers are one of the least used in my planners. Let's try and put them in the good use. The first thing I'd do to use them up is to decorate the top of the page and do that instead of the numbers. This comes out really handy if you have an undated heavy planner or an older one and want to redate it as well. And if you just want to decorate your page a little bit more, by all means, that would be a good place to put it. It can come instead of the page number, but it can also come in between as fun little elements you want to sprinkle in. It works out so well if you wanted to decorate the absolute entirety of your spread. Could frame the top with some washi and then sprinkle these in between. With these, I can just about make out the number behind as well, which is handy to trace it. I would place it vertically as well if it was a week with one number, but the double digit days just don't fit in these, I don't think. It definitely helps to elevate your spread in this way, and you use up some of the flags, woohoo! The next thing you can do is a bit more functional, and you can take two flags and make them into a box. I'm using a white background one for this spread, but the colored ones would work just as well. Leftover little flag bitty from each can make a fun banner, especially if you do this throughout the spread. In that way you get a fun little banner if you connect them all together, and a whole bunch of decent sized boxes for whatever you need for that day. Definitely a bit more on the functional side, you guys know that you can never have too many boxes. But you can have too many of the black stickers. <laughs> I should stop. I really start to like these little buggers now. <laughs> the next way is to decorate a corner of a box sticker. You can create a nice cluster with one of the stickers that has decorations on it, or you can decorate your functional white background box for a bit of a three-dimensional feel to it. My favorite way to do this, though, is to decorate that empty corner of the monthly box sticker. I do not know why they make them so that's that empty corner for the day number. Just feels strange to me, so of course I'd like to cover that one a little bit. This way, there's that 3D effect too, but also no empty pesky little corners. Of course, let's not forget that you can actually use them as fun little functioning boxes. If it's a small one, you can note down some sort of a stat for the day or the time of your appointment. You can use the little one over the regular box sticker and that way again, 3D effect. That way it can say the time and then below you can note your appointment down. Or you can just use them for some sort of a stat like the number of steps that you took that day. I like using the bigger ones on my monthly pages with some washi tape as well. There's usually just enough of these type of like little boxes for one of the monthly layouts and that way if there's anything happening on the same day you can totally just put both of these little boxes in, which is definitely a bonus otherwise I'd have to really compromise and select my favorite event of the two for that. Oh, don't want that. <laughs> I usually place the washi horizontally but thought it'd be fun to do it vertically in this one instead. The last one is either a fun checklist, but also a fun decorative element, so really it's more like the last two. <laughs> These little flags can work as a checklist instead of the bullet point stickers, especially if your to-dos might take up more than one line. Might as well just match the bullet point and make for a fun decoration. Which brings me to, this makes for a fun decoration. If you put enough of anything on, always turns out quite nicely, don't you think? I like that you can actually put them together, or this little gap here makes it seem all artistic. Just need to cluster them together with something, and I thought this could work really well. The little circle sticker from the same sticker book. Two birds with a one stone, eh? And I thought I would just do that throughout the spread, and that could maybe be my decorative box almost. So fun. How do you guys use these stickers? Please let me know in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed this video, you might also want to check this one out. That's five ways to use the checklist stickers. Thank you so much for watching and I shall see you in my next craft session.